What's going on, you guys? Keep me on a camera here. We're just here. Where's your wife? It's right there. And today, I woke up and Grandpa's camera was on my door. He went to Nason Medical Center on behalf of me because he was pissed off at how they were treating me. Excuse me while I wipe this lens. So I'm gonna go cut. I'm gonna cut to that in a minute. So just a second, I'm gonna cut to the video of Grandpa at Nason Medical Center on my behalf. First, I just want to say hello, happy Friday. I don't know if there's Friday, everyone. I don't know if there's any kind of name for the Fridays. Follow Friday, Friend Friday, Friendly Friday, Bella. Lip Sucks Friday. So happy Friday, everybody. Happy Friday, everyone. Everybody had themselves a safe Friday. If you go to a party and you drink, have a designated driver. This is safe Friday. <laughs> or it should be safe Saturday. Do whatever the fuck you want on Friday, but have a safe Saturday. Fun Friday. <laughs> fun, have fun on Friday, have a safe Saturday. So. Bella. Happy uh, Friday, everybody. Hope we have a fun Friday. <laughs> Don't drive crazy, I was joking a minute ago. Happy Friday. It's a fuck day Friday. <laughs> so, happy fuck day Friday. <laughs> and for now, let's go ahead and cut to Grandpa's video at Nason Medical Center. You know, Michael cut his lip open. And Michael came here to Nason's Medical Center. To Nason's Medical Center. He went in, pouring blood, his shirt was soaked full of blood. He goes up to the window and the lady says, God. And we're talking about almost 45 minutes for closing time anyway, you know. So Michael said, no, he didn't have insurance. She said it'd be $125. He said, no problem. I got it. She says, can I see your ID? Well, in the haste of leaving with a bus cut up lip pouring blood, Michael sent me the picture and it was pouring blood. Michael says, I don't have my ID, I left it at home, which Bridget was gonna go back and get it. But they said, I'm sorry, you can't be seen. Um, the girl behind the counter was rude, crude, one of the other girls in there looked at her and said, uh, can we at least clean him up before he goes? And she they said, no, we can't even do that. You know, it's a sorry state of events when you can't wait, when you can't be dotting on somebody while somebody goes against the ID. Oh, I can see the money part. Yeah, go, go to the, you know, go to the emergency room, whatever, you know, whatever. But come on. 15 minutes later, he'd have had his ID and would have been good. But no, they chose not to see somebody that's having an emergency that needs to be seen by a doctor, which he ended up getting a bunch of stitches in his lip because he had to go to the summer emergency room. You know, this that sucks. I, I guess Nason's Medical Center ambulatory urgent care doesn't give a fuck about Somerville residents. They need to take all their staff and send them to sensitivity groups and learn how to fucking treat people that come in there that are sick and hurt. But Nasus doesn't really care. Only thing they care about is that almighty dollar. And the bad part about it, Doc Nasus a good guy. I bring my boys here, I come here, but you know what, won't be coming here no more. I'll never come back to Nason's Medical Center. Farewell, Nason. So Nason's Medical Center in Somerville, you get Grandpa's suck of the week points. Nason, that's for y'all. They don't care about sick people, all they care about is that dollar. Oh, and your ID. You've got to have that ID. Uh, you, you, you don't have time to go back and get it. Uh, you can lay there and bleed to death. So 
die. But don't die in here. Go outside our door and you can die there. Thank you, Nasus, for sticking to my boy's lip. Thank you, Nasus, for, 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 for not doing your fucking job and what you took the Hippocratic Oath for. Money hungry motherfuckers. That's all y'all are now. Your blood suckers, all you want is that dollar. Well, he had the dollar. He just didn't have his ID. And they, were, they don't live like 20 minutes here. She could have gone and got the ID and been back in 15 minutes. But no. Dog Nason ought to fire every one of them people up there at that front office on that reception desk and get people that care about somebody. Well, Mike, I'm sorry you had to suffer the pain. And I'm sorry you had to suffer the embarrassment of asshole people that run these, these medical clinics that don't give a shit about normal people. S screw you, Nasus. And I hope all my youngins call you. That's Nasus Medical in Somerville. Bye. Okay, so we got some smoke stuff. <laughs> Just for fun. So we'll see what these do. This is what, voodoo smoke? Floating. Oh. <laughs> oh man. Ooh, it's cool. Shiny left <laughs> Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that one. So that's the voodoo smoke. It's a little green. I don't know if you can see it. This is dead smoke. Dead smoke. Somebody dead smoke looks suspicious. What the fuck? <laughs> All look the same. I was gonna say something about dead smoke looks suspiciously like lurking smoke, and that looked like voodoo smoke. So last night, uh, I put up the video, uh, the prank I did on Grandpa with the smoke grenade, and there were some deleted scenes that I decided not to use. So here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and air some of that stuff that you didn't see. <laughs> you stupid fuck. <laughs> oh, Corona's is not that bad. <laughs> Smoke on the house, I'm smoking a cigarette. Ain't that a bitch? Look at that, the house is smoking and so are you. <coughs> you know, you're a dumb shit. Why is that? Like the guy that had a smoke bomb at a house. <coughs> we got all the doors open, we got the windows open, the smoke will leave in a minute. The yeah, smoke alarm get... stopped. <coughs> but now I got a headache. Do you? Yes, I do. Thank you. Bye. <sighs> Dumbass. Why it ain't that bad in here? Shit, it ain't. Man, you mess up a soup sandwich. What, man? So, how you feeling, Dad? I'm pretty good. I can breathe. You ain't left yet. Not yet. Damn, I figured you'd be gone by now. Also, I remembered there was a clip from last Thursday that I didn't use with Grandpa the, the night before. The, I think it was right before 4th of July. It was after the bodyguard prank. So, check this out. This is just a quick little thing that I didn't use. So, how's your bed doing now? It's still fucked up. Thank you. You're welcome. You and Jimmy, you and Jimmy Kibbles owe me a bed. You still got your bodyguard? I don't yeah. see him around here. You get him? He ain't here. You me call him? What is he just a phone I can call? have him in five minutes. I ain't dealing with you. Better not have Mess with me. Come on, mess with me. You mess better. with me. Mess with me. Here. Right here. Mess with me. I'll make him. Let me get my phone. Okay.
That guy looks scary, dude. Yeah, you better be scared. He'll break my face in. You better be scared. I'm not. You're not? Don't get, call it. Leave it up. Why are you doing that? You say you're not scared of him, so I'll get my phone and get him up with Z. What, what are you trying to make me scared of him? Would I do that to you? Yeah, you are doing that to me. Ha 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 ha. I love you, big baby. I was editing the video, and I saw Bridget turned on me. Hey, she always turns on you. She kept denying. What is this about? When am I going to be able to do a prank on you without her turning on me? I don't know. And trust me, I'm going to do that prank on you. So anyway, that's going to be it for today. Thanks, Dad, for going to Nason Medical Center for me. I appreciate it. Uh, it was really cool. I'm going to see Dad tomorrow. Um, the local animal shelter... The, the, Charl or the Charleston Animal Society has been saying that they don't have any food for the animals. Their shelves are empty. So Grandpa and I are going to go out to the Charleston Animal Society and we're going to donate a bunch of food. That's right, Grandpa's going to be donating cat food because that's what they, spe they specified that they really needed, cat food. But we're going to donate dog food and cat food. But they need it, so we're going to go ahead and give them some. And We'll give the address tomorrow if you guys want to help out by chance, send a bag or something because they don't have any food to feed the animals. Grandpa's going to have a heart of gold tomorrow when he feeds cats. So tomorrow we're going to the Charleston Animal Society. I didn't say that correctly because it is lip. Tomorrow we're going to the Charleston Animal Society and we're going to donate a bunch of food. So that's what's coming tomorrow. Uh, thanks for watching, you guys. As always, like, subscribe, favorite. As you see, no Bridget. I think she's asleep. And that's it.